So learning target 3.1 asks us to identify the reactants and products in, in a chemical equation. Um, and this is an equation that we've all seen in our classes before. Um, and it's the chemical reaction when baking soda and vinegar react to produce sodium acetate, water, and carbon dioxide. And carbon dioxide being the gas that we saw fill up in the balloon on top of the flask. So this learning target just wants us to note um, that the reactants are always going to be on the left side of the arrow. And these are what are consumed to form the products. And the products are the end of the reaction, or what we have on the right side of the arrow. So in this example, um, the question says, list the reactants and the products in this equation. So before we go on and review this question, why don't you take maybe 30 seconds to a minute to list the reactants and the products in this equation. So as you might have guessed, once again, the reactants are going to be on the left side of our equation and the products are on the right side of the arrow. So the reactants can be listed as MgO and H2O. And the product in this specific chemical equation is MgOH2. And you also can push yourself, um, thinking about nomenclature that we learned back in the beginning of the year. You also actually could write out the names for these chemical compounds. So for example, you also could list in the reactants, instead of MgO, magnesium oxide, and you also could write down water. And for our product, we have to remember that that OH is the polyatomic ion called hydroxide. So we could name this product, MgOH2, with the name of the metal, magnesium, and then the name of the polyatomic ion OH, which is hydroxide. 